I like using the example of the guy that I worked with several years back that was in his 40s and had a Tasmanian devil tattoo on the back of his calf that uh, he followed his heart and, you know, <laughs> maybe not the best idea. Um, so actually we have t-shirts that I just made. I, I was feeling kind of sassy one day <clears throat> on the Mama Bear page that has kind of a picture of a heart that says, don't follow your heart. It says stupid things. And it has that verse next to it that's like for out of the heart comes sexual immorality and greed and idolatry and blah 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 um so it's taking things to its furthest logical conclusion or just asking is this true is that true what they've just said or how did they come to that conclusion i would say especially um just when you hear kind of in some of the political stuff people are assuming definitions to things and uh, there's one thing that i learned from being married is that sometimes john's and my biggest fights were because we were defining something differently and so we would like debate 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 until we finally discovered oh we're saying the same thing and we actually agree the same thing so we could have wait we could have like saved those two hours if we defined our words at the beginning um so i think that's probably one of the number one things that we need to have kids do is to if someone says something that feels a little off ask them to define what do you mean by that how did you come to that conclusion 